Hey everyone, it's been a while since I've shot a video. Part of the reason is it's just been way too hot here this summer in Connecticut to really get out and do any um, any real coin shooting. But um, I've been doing a bit of beach hunting and I discovered something that I wanted to pass along to everyone. It's pretty much common knowledge that when you uh, think you encounter a bottle cap, if you switch to a lower frequency, you sniff out the bottle cap, uh, your number and tone goes up, and you move on. Um, this method works, but I discovered a problem with this, potential danger, and here's what it is. Here I have a actual men's Rolex watch and a typical bottle cap. So now, we're swinging along, let's say, we see this number diggable. We're swinging along. We see this. It's diggable. But they're both jumpy and this is what would potentially alert a lot of people to say, oh, bottle cap, let's sniff it out. So let's jump into 5 kilohertz. And as the method shows, our tone goes up, our numbers go up. And we walk. The problem is, the same thing happens to the watch. Now, of course, it all depends on the orientation of the watch, but it still jumps. And we could walk and say the watch is like this. So, Again, watch, full frequency, bottle cap, full frequency, 5 kilohertz, jumps, we could walk, watch jumps, and we could walk. So. Moral of the story is, if you're using that method to sniff out bottle caps, you might want to take pause and give that method a second thought. I know I am no longer going to rely on it because there might be a men's Rolex watch laying down there or ladies' Rolex watch going down there. And I don't know how many other targets would apply to this scenario uh, where the number would jump in a lower frequency but i know i'm not taking any chances so thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video